Hey guys, been tracking Matt for 16 miles. I smell his musk on this windy morning. He's just around here. I'm his biggest fan. Mmm. Oh, there he is. He's taking his morning poopy. We'll just wait this one out. Matt poops desert eagles. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. This episode is sponsored by Simply Safe, and that's because, well, simply put, I spent uh, a lot of money on toilet seats today. I went to the hardware store and I bought 30 toilet seats, totaling about $400. And if you ever want to see some lady at the register give you a crazy eye, that's what to do. Walk up with 30 toilet seats, and she's like. Why, what did you, why are you, why do you need that many toilet seats? And I told her, I don't want to talk about it. Have you ever wondered, is a toilet seat bulletproof? I have, I think about it every time I sit down on a toilet. And I honestly don't think it is. But I was like, well, how many toilet seats would it take to be bulletproof? And so I bought all they had. <laughs> Look, we got, we got the nice, thick plastic ones. We've got some that are for round toilets and then some over, let's see, where is it? Where is it? Here. For the longer oval shaped toilets. We also have the ones your grandma likes, the wood grain toilet seats. Look at that. The lid is just so nice. The seat matches it. Your grandma would love those seats. I actually look for the ones that had like the carpet on the top. Turns out they don't make shag carpet toilet seats anymore. And you know what? I don't really care to find out if it's bulletproof against like nine millimeters and 40 calibers and 45. You know what I wanna know? I wanna know, can it stop me from an actual threat that would come into my house? Like a Desert Eagle, 50 AE. Because that's what most people come into my house with. They come in with 50 AE and I have to defend myself and I wanna know how many toilet seats do I need to armor myself with to stop? that giant round. Hold on, let me see if I can get this to focus for you. Uh, nope. Bum, bum, bum! This channel is all about scientific information that is not actually important at all. Like, uh, will a toilet seat stop a out of focus 50 AE? Look at that thing. That is a big boy round right there. I wish it would just, oh yeah, that's so good. Look at that bad boy. So, my question to you is, how many do you think? We are shooting through toilet lids and seats. I think a 50 AE will not go through all of these. I think it's gonna go, I think it will stop in the 10th. No, no, I think it will not touch the 10th. The last one it hits is the ninth toilet seat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Nine. I think it will not touch that. It'll stop there. What are your predictions? <laughs> cool. That's so cool. So apparently the inside of toilets are particle board. Oh, even the wood one. It's particle board. Cheap. Well, I guess that's why they're nine dollars a piece or something. Okay. Oh, okay. It's slowing down here. You can see it's starting to break apart and then a small dent. So that is, ah, eight, nine. I said it wouldn't touch the 10 and it barely touched it. God, I am really close to being a genius. On a different day, this thing would have stopped it. Look at that, I mean, that made a huge hole through there. That means the bullet's gotta be close then, right? I feel like if it, it's gotta be here. Hold on, I'm gonna keep looking because the whole bullet went through that for sure. Where is it? Two things. One, I found the bullet. Look how cool that is. So it just mushroomed out a little bit, probably because it slowed down over like 10 feet. So it didn't like get a full like spread like they should. If you're hitting water, these things will open up real wide, but this thing was slowing down through that particle board, which is packed in there now, by the way. But that is the entire bullet, all still there. But what's also interesting is right where it hit here. So this thing came through, I thought, let's see, it was this one. I thought, 
I thought it was breaking apart, but it was just pieces of the other toilet were flying into that and hitting it because this thing is still all together. So it fit right through there, came through and went thunk and hit that and bounced off. It was right over here in the dirt. But what's really interesting, I saw this back behind. I was like, what is that? It knocked out a chunk out of the backside of that toilet where it just got hit so hard there. It didn't go through, but just knocked out a big piece there. So, uh, interesting. Went through nine, stopped on the 10th. Now, what if we had a 50 cal that was more powerful? It's not a 50 BMG, no, no, no. It's actually one I haven't showed you in a long time. Remember this? This is the 50 Beowulf. This is an AR-15 chambered in 50 cal. This is the Alexander Arms. And 50 Beowulf is a very serious round. For comparison, the 50 AE out of Desert Eagle has about 1,600 foot-pounds of energy downrange. The 50 Beowulf, which as you can see takes up the entire magazine, has over a thousand more foot-pounds of energy. It's like almost at 2,700 foot-pounds of energy downrange. For comparison to something a little easier to understand, uh, a 9mm. Everyone's heard of a 9mm. 9mm have about 400 foot-pounds. This round is over six times more powerful, which means it's basically like hitting your enemy with six plus 9mm at one time if you take a bad guy or an animal or something down with this. That is a lot of energy. Now what about when it hits a toilet seat? I will show you and we will find out together after a word from our sponsor Simply Safe who's making all of this possible. Simply Safe is incredibly effective and easy to use home security. It's all monitored 24/7 by professionals who will call you the event of emergency and can call police help if needed. It's easy and intuitive to set up. They have a lot of thoughtful features like a reminder if you leave a door open. Also super tiny little sensors that you won't even notice around your house. And a big one, fair and honest prices, no contracts, which is one of the main reasons that I was drawn to it, and no hidden fees. And it's equipped for worst case scenario. So if your Wi-Fi goes out, if your power goes out, or your system is attacked, it will still work. My house is safer than most. And that's because I have some tools that are specifically made for protecting a house. And I'm very good at using those tools. As is my wife, she's very good at using those tools as well. And whenever we leave town, we always have someone watching the house. But I wanted a little bit of extra peace of mind. That's why I went with Simply Safe. These are all their devices. They have camera, they have a glass break sensor, they have a motion detector. This is just a panic button. You can have like, you know, if you're in your bedroom or something or want someone to be able to set off the alarm at any time. Ah, I regret this. Okay, got it. This is just a little key fob you can have in your pocket, in your car. Maybe like whenever you get in your garage, you just hit this thing and set the alarm. Please exit now. Setup is super easy. I mean, literally a lot of these things just have some sticky tape on them. This is a motion detector. You just stick it up in your house. Currently, Simply Safe only ships in the United States, but they are working on getting internationally very soon. Go check out simplysafe.com slash demo ranch. They have quite a good offer for you through Cyber Monday, and after that through the holidays, they have more good offers. And it's a super good service. You're gonna love it, and it helps support what we do here, and we greatly appreciate Simply Safe for back at Demolition Ranch. I moved all the holy ones to the back, so we are starting at number 11 now and then goes all the way to number 30, which is right there, and then starts at number one and goes back. I think it will touch the 16th, but not go through. 50, Beowulf. I'm gonna send it. Ugh. Here we go. <laughs> uh, we broke some. I think it went through less. The perfect shot, right, right? All right. And then I think it started moving or something, no? What happened here? So five, six, pretty straight. Seven, starting to get a little sideways. Eight, completely sideways. Nine is this one that's all broken apart. Looks like completely sideways. Came through the lid and then nailed the center of the seat right there and broke our seat in half. And this is number 10. It looks like the bullet just kind of went down and hit the dirt. These things are all sitting like this, so it hit the dirt there, did not hit the seat in the back, but threw dirt all over it. Oh, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha! Sweet, and it did not open up at all. So very interesting that it just started going sideways and then uh, stopped way sooner. 
Probably mostly because it came down here and hit dirt. Dirt stops everything really fast. There's our bullet. The hollow points are not going to go as far down. So what about if we do a full metal jacket? This actually isn't a full metal jacket. It is a solid brass bullet. I don't think it's going to come apart at all. It should stay right together and hopefully not start spinning sideways. I didn't move them at all after the last one, but I did put a little red line next to each of the hollow points bullet holes. So I'll be able to tell which is which. We're just going to shoot them again with the... I guess you call this full metal jacket-ish. I'm gonna try to not hit the same spot. I'm gonna shoot high. Yeah, buddy. We got domino rally. Check it out, we got some good holes there. But this is number seven. Looks like we're already going sideways, number seven. Oh, definitely going sideways, number eight. Just like the last one. Look at those two, two sideways. Uh, number nine, straight through sideways look at that perfect that is awesome number 10 it went through so it went further because it didn't hit dirt yet number 10 going sideways number 11 is where it stopped okay oh yes we got it we're recovering every bullet this actually deserves a million likes will you please like this video because i have found three out of three bullets so far and it is usually impossible to find bullets and somehow we're getting super lucky with this but there's a bullet uh it looks actually pretty good Oh, you can see the rifling on it, if it would focus. You can see where the rifling kind of scored it a little bit. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. Yeah, you can see it. That was our 11th. It broke through the lid and stopped on the seat. Right there. So this just got me thinking. The Desert Eagle went through exactly this amount. It stopped on the 10th, I think. But it's, it's interesting. This one is going way faster, obviously, but the Desert Eagle didn't start spinning. So for some reason, both of those bullets, after they had hit a certain amount of toilet seats, started flipping, and the Desert Eagle stayed true all the way through. I'm not satisfied. Not at all. I mean, thinking about six, nine millimeters hitting at the same time is, well, that's impressive. But what if we bring out a 50 BMG? Yeah, check it out. This is the Barrett. You guys know and love this gun. And it shoots the 50 BMG which is a giant round. I looked it up. 50 BMGs have about 13 to 14,000 foot-pounds of energy, which is about like getting hit by 35 9 millimeters. A regular Glock, a standard full-size Glock, holds about 17 rounds. So it's like if you got hit with two full mags of 9 millimeter out of a Glock. All at once! Fire in the hole! Oh! <laughs> There's the first one. Nice little bitty hole. Still going straight here. Still straight. Looks like it could be starting to yaw. This is the fifth one. Definitely starting to yaw. This is seven. Definitely starting to yaw. Look at that. I think this was... This was either eight or nine. Definitely going sideways through these. And now it's actually probably going backwards because the, the hole is getting smaller now. So I think it's going backwards. This one looks straight up sideways again. This one went straight sideways again right there. That is the length of that bullet. So that is exactly <laughs> its profile right there going through sideways. Hit our seat, exploded the seat, came through, hit this thing going sideways and broke our lid in half, which that's the first time we've actually broken a lid in half, but uh, let's see if we can piece this back together. Like that? Yeah, so I'm not really sure how the bullet fits in there, but anyway, broke our lid in half, broke the, the seat in half, and then stopped on this one, which is number 15. It looks like something hit the lid and nothing went through the seat, and it looks like we have a lot of dirt disturbed, and it threw dirt all up on number 16 back here. I looked around, I cannot find the bullet, so I think our luck ran out. So moral of the story, I think uh, about 15 toilet seats, and you should be pretty protected. So if you have anybody come to your house, if it's a Desert Eagle, you know, get about 10. If it's a Barrett, get about 15. A few extra just for safety, and you should be good. I have one more thing I want to do for you fine folks here on Demolition Ranch. I was thinking maybe those things need some more rounds in them. Maybe, oh, 
Oh, the domino rally happened again. Love it. All right, put that some more 50 cal. Oh, what are these? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna give away, I'm gonna find a few of these, maybe a couple of them that look really cool and are not broken completely. Like, like this one would clean up real nice and we're gonna give them away. Like you can either just hang that, this one's still good. You could hang this like in your garage as a memento, I'll sign them. Or I would love it if you used it, like in a college dorm room, this would be awesome. So. What you're gonna do, if you wanna win, go to Bunker Branding Co. It's our Instagram page for all the merch. I'm out of breath after shooting all the 50s. That's our Instagram page for all the merch, Bunker Branding Co. And what you need to do is like the page and there's gonna be a picture of me sporting our new sweatshirt. Go caption the picture. And then in a few days, we'll pick it around a few of you and we will get your info and we will mail you a toilet seat. That is the weirdest giveaway we've ever done. Look, there's pieces over here, look at this. 50 cal man, am I right? Thanks for watching Demolition Red. I love you and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby!